dudes what's up welcome back to another video this is the first video i have tried to film in like five five or six weeks I haven't posted for over a month sorry about that thanks for sticking with me in my absence this right here is uh jesse you guys would have seen him in a couple of videos he's a rafting guide uh he's all the rafting videos that i've done he's been uh captain of the boat and he's also a pretty gun fisherman so we're out today we're on a river that i haven't fished all season normally i fish this two or three times a season maybe even more uh, but there's only two weeks left of the season and uh, so so I'm coming to do it just to check it out see how it is normally you can't fish it at this time of the year because this is normally got too much water in it you can't do the crossings you just can't get up the river but it is so dry this is the driest start to a winter period we've had since I can remember everything is super low Lake Topo itself is millimeters away from being the lowest ever recorded uh, so super dry but that's why we're able to do this river today anyway we're gonna go set up a rod I've got a six weight so I'll be the heavy nymph rod Jesse's got a five weight so we'll do him a lightweight nymph rod maybe even dry dropper throughout the day hopefully that's the case um, see if we can find some nice fish in here Squeaky reel. Nice. Just a little guy. But I'll take him, we're on the board. Well, we probably wait till he's in the net before I say that, eh? Almost on board. Boom. Okay, so a pretty good representation of the fish that are in here. They do come in a bigger version, which hopefully we find soon. Thanks, man. It's nice fishing with people that you can just stand wherever you want. Hmm. All right, so we're on the board. I managed to fish out of that first pool. And then here comes uh, Jesse. It's a nice roll cast. I was just saying lots of clients that I've had in this river can't really fish this pool, but uh, Jesse should do okay because he's got a really good roll cast on him. And that's a beautiful drift. We just need there to be a fish down there somewhere. Oh, yep, yep. Dude. Right, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> you should be paying me. <laughs> we we on one cast. Yeah, I just fucked up real good. Oh, oh, a little punk. That was good. That was good. We connected. It worked. At least yep. I know I'm doing it right. Yep, you just got to set that hook a little quicker. <laughs> yep, 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 uh, yep. Okay, so before we get too far into today's video, a quick word from the first video sponsor this channel's ever had, Care Kit. This is actually built, it's an outdoor survival system. It's built by a buddy of mine down in the South Island, Matt Butler. He's just launched on Kickstarter and he sent me down a pack to go through and show you guys in the video. And if you want to go and check this out, which I highly recommend you do, there'll be a link in the description to uh, follow it to the Kickstarter page and you can get first dibs on these. But what Matt's done is he's put everything that you possibly could need in a survival situation into a little pack, which is actually way smaller than I thought it was going to be, way lighter than I thought it was going to be. And uh, it's actually really good. So this fits perfectly in the very bottom of my pack. And it's been there for like a month and I've pretty much forgot it's there. If you don't know it's there, but it's got some really cool, helpful stuff inside that if you needed it, you would uh, 
this thing really would be a lifesaver. So I'll quickly show you what's inside. But you have a shelter, so in here there's a fly, pigs, and probably some other bits and pieces. Some paracord, stuff like that, to make a shelter. Uh, and there is a water filter. So I don't know how many, there was a little piece of paper that told me how many liters this thing filtered, but it's a shitload. Definitely a lifesaver. I sometimes carry a water filter bottle when I go on big trips, but having the peace of mind of having that in there would be uh, really cool. There's a medical kit, which is about the same size as the first aid kit that I used to carry, but it's far more comprehensive. I'm not going to go through the individual contents, but it's a um, it's a it's a good first aid kit that's got everything you're going to need in there. And then my favourite part of it actually is the tool kit. Got a really cool utility knife that has all sorts of bits in it. Really good knife. We actually use this today to fix up a reel. There's some driver bits and then a little fire kit. Duct tape and some other bits. Compass, mirror for attracting attention. Pretty much everything you can need in a survival situation, you can come up with something with what's in this kit. Small, lightweight, it solves the problem I always have of not being as prepared as I should be when I go on a mission. Use my link in the description, go to the Kickstarter page, order yours and solve all those problems of uh, not being prepared when you go into the backcountry. Kick it. Oh yeah! That's a proper take. Yeah. <laughs> yeah no, I seen that you one. saw that one, did you? Oh, no. Yeah, there's big bits of iron and shit down in there. Nice fish too. Oh. Nice one, bro. It's a pretty fish. Oh. Nice fish, bro. Well done. See you, buddy. Oh, did like a kickflip. I should have left that one. Yeah. Looks like you hooked them all. That's a brown. Never caught a brown from this pool. So it, did, it didn't even, oh, is that a rainbow? Oh, is that brown? Brownie. Man, he went in the net easy. Cool colors. Very cool looking fish. Took that little unweighted fly again. Sweet. You can let him go whenever you like. Good days. See you buddy. Boom. What um what reel is that? It's the clear water reel. Oh. They're a bit like twenty. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah, fishy. But they're really easy to play with like the spin the thing that goes. Yeah, that, well that's why I asked. Because that's a really handy feature. Hey fishy. Pretty fish. Yeah, real pretty fish. Jam them in the camera. Jam them in there. Make them look bigger. Yes, love it. All right, see you, buddy. Oh, well, you can go fish the top now. Yep, I'll try that. Fish. 
Good fish. Yes, yeah, a good one. Another brown, but a nice brown. Oh no, don't bring it. Oh yeah. Shit. Oh. Cool man, stoked on that fish. Cool, so this is a much better fish, definitely fish of the day so far, and a really pretty brown trout. Super nice. Happy with that? Yeah man. What a cool fish. Got these little spots. It's real pretty. Alright, I'm gonna let him go. See you buddy. Yeah, so if you shorten up your thing down to like this deep yep. and then just down in there there's um, some flies, some fish. Yeah, probably like that. See that soft piece of water in between the two flows? Yeah. If you can get it to stop in there, that's good. Oh, yeah, a bit further than that. Probably stand out there maybe. You gotta reach across it better. Yep. Oh yeah, good fish. Oh, big rock. That's a nice rainbow, that one. He was right down in that little crack, eh? Hey? Yeah. Yeah. Yep, that's exactly how you do it. Good fishing, man. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you especially to all the subscribers, all the people who watch my videos uh, that have stuck with me even though I haven't posted on this thing. I posted like two videos in the last eight weeks. It's the least active I've been on here since I started the channel three or four years ago. Dealing with some personal stuff uh, hasn't allowed me as much time as I would like to be out here doing this sort of thing. But stick with me, it's gonna come back and it's gonna be better than ever. So uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do check that you are subscribed as well i have people messaging me say they subscribe but youtube automatically unsubscribes so every time they if they look again they're, they're not subscribed anyway so go check that you are subscribed ring the bell like the video it really does help and i really appreciate it if you want to leave me a comment let me know what you did like what you didn't like that's fine i try to answer all of them and generally i sometimes do yeah make sure you go check out the kia kit it's a it is actually a really good idea I'm surprised at how light and small it is. I thought it was going to be too big and cumbersome, but it is actually, it's, it's on point. Um, it's a really good idea, so go check that out. 
use my link helps me out and it will help you out too because uh, you will get a awesome piece of kit anyway Lance uh, not Lance Jesse's still down there somewhere uh, I'm gonna see if I can see some fish off this bridge and uh, guide him into them and then that'll be it for the day thank you guys so much for watching really appreciate it like subscribe comment do all that good stuff and I will catch all of you in the next video peace